And here she is, here is Sailor Venus, and she looks really pretty. Um, this is the first one of the Sailor Moon collection that I've got. Um, so I can see, first of all, the big blue eyes. She just, it stands out, it brings the, with the color tone, it brings it all to the actual figure. And we have a red bow at the back, and the kind of hair that kind of like brings off. Now I had to stand her up with the stand, because we'll explain this in a bit. Um, but we have the Basically, the orange and the white really works together, and then obviously you've got a bow in the middle with like a golden uh, kind of orb thing, like a button. Um, we have the kind of the white parts above here, and again the arms which just go down, which is a really nice shade of kind of a peach color, skin color tone, um, which link straight into her actual outfit. Um, just underneath her hair you can see like the tiara that she has, or the headband that she actually has within the series. As we move down, we can see that the bow covers up most of her bust. Well, obviously here you've got kind of like a white where her out outfit is and then an orange skirt which looks a very like kind of metallic colour. Um, if we move that out of the way, uh, that brings her hair down. Um, and then literally when you've got her gloves, kind of very delicate, it looks very small but again her hands kind of like turn around. And again, her hands turn around very similar. We have the joint, which again is kind of skin colored. And I kind of thought it would be kind of orange to incorporate the kind of the wristband that she's got here. So here again, we don't really have much in the form of the legs. Um, literally, all you just see are just the kind of stiletto high heels that they wear. Now, one thing is this, because they are very thin, it's very hard to kind of like stand it up. It may take some time, but it can easily be knocked over. Um, I don't know why they didn't make the legs a little bit thicker and well as well as the feet make them a bit bigger effectively. So it's easier to, um, even when snapping it in, even adjusting the legs, it's very kind of hard to kind of bring it in. Um, even if you're trying to weight balance it, um, it just instantly falls down. On the back of the hair, we have basically sculpted like most of the uh, female figures that we've seen. Also a kind of like a pink bow, which is very kind of sparkly. I don't know if you can see it, it's like a metallic color. Um, I really like the fact that the hair is kind of like shaped. So we can lift it up and then kind of look around. I think, yeah, we can move the hair if you wanted more of a, an attack. You can bring it out, it's on a pivot. At the point of the hair, we can see that there's kind of more sculpting going on, but also, as most of the time, there's stuff at the back. So, if you can see it, just there, we see that it comes down to see reveal a yellow bow on it, and I think the colour scheme works quite well with this particular figure. Um, again, we can see the skirt's not kind of just a flat, it's kind of sculpted to some degree, uh, so it's raised and it stands out quite well. As we bring down, uh, I noticed just now um, on the back of the legs where the kind of joints are, it looks like it's been sculpted in a bit. Um, this actually brings niceness because it looks, it reminds me of what a leg would be. And again, we move down, which is normal pale, and we see that the boots um, or the kind of stilettos or heels that she wears are all orange. They're not too bad, uh, they don't stand out. Um, I've not really seen much of the Sailor Moon range. Um, I'm guessing as the costumes get more brighter and more radiant, they get a little bit more detailed on them. So we'll kind of figure out with multiple changes of faces, we have a look at what it is. Now I quite like this face um, well, on the figure, but to pull it off, basically just remove the figure. It looks really weird. Like It looks a little bit like Sailor Moon. And we take the face off. So now we're putting it in a kind of like shouty face, um, which everyone seems to have, <laughs> uh, which is quite f unique. Well, it's not unique, um, but there we go. It kind of brings out more characteristic. And again, the eyes bring out a lot. It still reminds me a lot of Sailor Moon, but I like this figure. It's actually quite cool. I like just the facial expression. Stands out. It kind of brings out a lot to it. Then we add in her kind of displeasing face. But again, it is, I, I don't know, I think it's mainly her eyes that you get kind of drawn to. It kind of brings a lot of, kind of that you really want to know what she's thinking and you don't want to make her mad. But again, again, that's the eyes, the eyes are bringing it out. Again, her happy face. I think this might be my favorite one actually. So, place it back in. Just like so, and that's her happy face. So it looks really nice. I like that one. That is definitely my favorite one because it shows a lot of like, happiness in the figure. Definitely more like she's uh, she's just won the battle. She's really happy, and yeah, it makes it for me. 
Now we can remove this part and you do get a second part with it, which I'm guessing just goes over. Kind of there. So it works really well. So it's like, ah, oh, you don't know who I am. Oh, I'm Sailor Venus. Ah. So let's have a look at the kind of stress test. We know that this moves around. Um, I was quite surprised that the balls of the feet don't move around pretty much like anything else um, that we've seen previously. Again, the legs move just like that. And again, they're fine. When you move the legs around like so, uh, you know, it's a bit stiff. You kind of think that they'd be able to move forward and backwards quite a lot, but it sometimes feels like it doesn't. The arms move up and down. Um, so you have to move it around if you want to Make sure, because this joint here kind of blocks it a little bit. And again, so half like that. The head moves easily up and down, but kind of left to right, it kind of sticks a little bit. The hair, as we mentioned before, moves out like so. And then when you do like the body, it's absolutely fine. Okay, you do get a little Artemis figure with him. Um, I thought he would stand up, but unfortunately he doesn't. His head turns around, like so, so you can pose him any way you want. And the tail also moves. It's not much posability with this figure, and I kind of wish it stood up. Oh, there we go. So it does to some degree, but it looks like it's going to fall over. There we go. <laughs> but you can see with Artemis, uh, his lovely blue eyes, as well as the kind of the moon symbol, his pink uh, inside ears, and his whiskers, and his face. So it's a nice little addition. I'm glad that you actually got him with Sailor Venus. With also some of the multiple hands that you get, you get this kind of special effect thing, um, which is just her glasses kind of just literally on a hand. Um, there's no much detail, it just kind of, if you wanted to kind of take off the other glasses from the hand, head and you want to do stop motion, then literally you could use that just to be like, hi, like that, hi. Um, that's pretty much it. That's the only kind of like special effect that you get and then like an additional bonus with her. So there we go Rangers, there is Sailor Venus. Now I'm torn between this figure. I like the look of it. I like the fact that I've added it to my collection and I'm going to collect other Sailor Moon items. But at the moment I don't like the way some of the figure is. I think it's just some of the ball joints when I was playing with some of the hands. It felt a little bit weird and like I could break it very easily. Also without not being able to stand up properly. That to me kind of got to me a little bit because I don't always like to have the stands. Um, it's nice that they included it, I would have been annoyed if they didn't, um, but apart from that it's a really nice figure. It's the first one in my collection so I'm hopefully when I get the others they've all changed or this is the upgraded version, I don't know. Anyway, if you've liked this figure let me know down below in the comments what are your thoughts on it. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Would you get it? Would you not? Let me know down below. And as always Rangers, thanks for watching. If you've liked this video, like, favourite, comment and subscribe. Share it around. Check out Yada Games and all that lovely goodness. And as always Rangers, thanks for watching and I'll see you in a bit.